Hey guys, Tyler here, coming at you with a little YouTube exclusive content. New puzzle game came out a week and a half ago. It's called Room to Grow, and it's a very cute but challenging puzzle game about a long cactus. And that's all I know. So we have a cactus that grows from a pot, and we have to push the small cactus into its goal, it looks like. It looks like it's that simple. But it's an interesting mechanic because our character that we control never actually moves its base point, but it grows from it. So that means we're gonna have very strange shapes and probably very interesting uh, <laughs> ways to be able to push this cactus pot into its hole. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how it pans out. Uh, I've been following this game for at least a little bit, so I'm excited to see some of the design that could happen. Um, so I'm aware you could push off the wall. I did watch like the trailer of this. You can push off the wall so you can push the cactus because it's not on the grid itself using the side of us. I think that's actually sweet. So we start with one down here and it expands to get to its area. I love that. Right, so we have to be able to get it down and over. Now it's not gonna be, I mean, we could probably push it down like this, but then if I wanna push it over, it's like, that kills me, and if I push here, it's like, well, I'm kind of going away now. So let's reset. Let's focus on maybe pushing ourselves, or not pushing ourselves, pushing the cactus over first. And then we can push it down, like such. All right, I feel I'm gonna like this game from these first few levels. I like where this is going, and I'm curious to see what other ideas it can come up with. So I'm thinking I wanna push it up first. Oh, I just realized that's the end of the track. Nothing to actually push off of. So it seems that we would actually have to use the top of this shrubbery here to be able to push that up. So almost kind of like this. And then we get in here and push it over like that, creating an S. The character design of this is just beautiful. All right, very simple. All we have to do is push it over once. So is the issue that we can't just push like this because we'll hit the barrier? So we just have to dodge the barrier. Cool. Probably shouldn't have taken that many tries, but it's good to have a little bit of trial and error, error early on because that can help you learn things, even things that the puzzle isn't intending for you to learn. Right, so this time it's directly connected to one part of the grid, um, but not the other. So from here, I would have to create a little cradle and push down like so. I like that the cactus pot can be diff on different parts of the grid. So it says grid-based movement, which is my forte uh, in video games, but uh, they go off the grid sometimes. Very unpredictable. All we need to do is push once to the left. How hard could that be? Well, it seems that our pot itself will have an issue, so we need to push our base off and then push over. Yeah, glad I caught that. Keep moving on. I have no idea how many levels there are or how much there is to this game, but I'm enjoying this so far. It seems that there's new ideas for every single puzzle so far, and it's not just the same thing, but maybe rehashed. It seems that it's fresh and creative. So we need to be able to, I think, I guess we gotta push it down first is what I'm assuming is the idea. What I wonder is if I wanna almost make a cradle like that so I could go down first, go over, oh no, go over twice and then, but I can't go up. Yeah, it's gonna hurt if I go up. No, so it seems I just need to push it over. There is no pushing it down then up. I could push myself down though. So something like such, push myself down because then I could push it over twice. I was just worried about the pot. I should get a cactus. I had a plant for about a year. No, it was a bit longer. It was almost two years that plant lasted for, which is a miracle because my living room has absolutely zero natural light. You know, I'm almost giving up on plants just because that wasn't a success, but maybe I'll get a cactus. I hear they're easy to manage. No, I, I have it backwards. This is the correct direction. See, I don't, even, I don't even know why I built it so high up. It's definitely unnecessary. But I mean, we have to see the cactus grow. If I don't make a mega, super mega cactus, I feel like the people are going to be disappointed. There's two of them. Here's the thing. Could I hypothetically, like, push it 
out of its hole. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's so interesting. So what I need to do then is probably create, no, 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 no. A little cactus shape of equal heights so that it'll set them up together and push them in at the same time. Now that's a long cactus. Righto. Two is way trickier than one. Okay. Again, looks like I want to push it over. And then push them both up. What I maybe want to see if I can do is create a longer base. So I can, you know, capture both mini cactuses and then bring them up together. Certainly getting the hang of this. Let's keep moving. Maybe get through level 17 by the end of the video. All right, so this game just wants me to start by pushing that into the thing there. Why do I feel like that's a trap? And it's a trap because we need to push the other one down, but I can... I can't do that without hurting myself, so I gotta push this over and then down? Oh, wait, so I could push that one in the beginning right away. Usually when it's like that obvious, I usually think it's too good to be true, but it wasn't. It was just fine. This one might be a little bit more tricky. All right, watch this. I'm gonna go above the cactus because I can just cradle it like such, getting into its space, and now I can push this one into its hole easily. Right, so there is no such thing as blocking the small cactus with my cactus body. Righto! One goes left, one goes right. I can't push myself to the right to go left. Right? Oh, that's probably a lose condition, huh? Can I push myself? No. Maybe if I start like this and go over, whoops, I could push myself down. So it has to be in that specific order. That's why the gap was down there. Sure, lots of ideas to be focusing on here. Dude, I love this puzzle design. This this is legitimately just super relaxing. I could do this all day. I'm just gonna create a little cradle here. Oh, but if I push myself, duh. Hold on, I can't just push myself up. I gotta go down first, push myself over twice. Push it up. I wish, oh, I should push it up again. Cause now I can escape. Oh, but I've just barely blocked it off. Maybe just something a bit more like such. Yeah, all right, that's probably fine. And it looks like there is plenty of space now. So just, I see the issue. <laughs> how did I not notice this happening the first time? I think it happened twice and I just didn't pay attention. So how about I just do this instead and not worry about too much. Oh, so if I push it like this, I gotta maybe go down twice. Can I get myself to go uh, this way? And then can I push myself going up? Use my base to kick that in. <laughs> no, sure. Who says you have to use the head? Use the tail part to kick it in. However you want. Level 14. There's not much I can push off of, really. Pushing it up is scary. So realistically, I want both to go to the right. So I have to push left to go right. Oh, but I hit the barrier. Hold on. I create a little bit extra room here. So now I can push them both to the right. Yeah, dodging that middle section. All right, three more to go. I imagine that with the growth of puzzle games, I imagine these are going to be way trickier and probably going to be enough to close out the video. I really just want to do this, but that's probably the last thing I have to do. Or is it? Because the other cactus in the hole is it's set up in a similar way. That it's like once you go in, you can't go out. If I go over like that, and then up again, and then push this in, the tail, oh, the tail almost works. Let's have this be a too long, maybe? Oh, if I could just get that to not collide, we have the idea. Because I would like to use the pot to kick that in. Um, let me look at this again. What if I push off of... Both surface? No, no, that's silly. That's silly. That's silly. I would like to use the tail to push this cactus in. What if I start by pushing myself out of the way? And just use a different part of myself? I don't like that either. There's a lot of this I don't like. What about this? Almost, almost. All right, hold on. Push over. 
No, it doesn't fit. Cactus. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Okay, I should be switching ideas right about now. Just to see if I can. And the idea is instead maybe using my hind to kick this down instead. No, I can't actually get his behind in there because of the way it curves. His behind would have to be here, but it'd have to be facing to the right. And then somehow it would have to expand down. No, this is definitely something I have to do second. This one has to be first. Maybe I don't necessarily have to have to push it with my behind, but it would kind of make sense to. I have to make the C. I have to go over once. There's no way to turn my dude, is there? Yeah, I don't think there's any way to pivot it. It seems pretty static by all means. What about this? What about that? Would you look at that? That's why there's a bend in the terrain so you can move over. I totally forgot about that middle step. How you could change after one push. Yeah, these are tricky. These are tricky puzzles. I'm hoping to clear out this area. Two cactuses in one hole? Wait, how does that even work? Do you have to get... Wait. No, only one can make it to the hole. What am I supposed to do with the other cactus? Oh, it's on a hole. We're not supposed to disturb the other cactus. Maybe I have to push it off then back on somehow? In some way? Like, what if this is here? And then... There, this is such a tight area. I'm not sure if I have to just not touch the other cactus or maybe push it off then back on. So the reason why I lined this up here is because they're basically next to each other, but actually I would want them to be here. So I could push them the same distance and then they'd be back on their holes again. So maybe what needs to happen is this first. Then how do I manage to hook onto the other cactus? I guess I could do this. But I push myself. And then they get pushed together. So this is almost it, but not quite. So really, I need to push here and then go down. So I can push over and create the thing here. Oh no, that's wrong too. And yeah. So maybe I need to set up like such. We were very close, but now we've got it. Oh, that was a cool level. Taught me a little bit about preparation and all that. Oh, there's a lot of area here. You could say there's a lot of room to grow. Anyways, I imagine these will be extra annoying, especially since there's very little space to push off of. So almost what I want to be able to do is have one motion that pushes the both of them, but I almost want to set it up so that when I push up, there will be a space below this left cactus so that it won't directly push it up. And I would also like there for it to be like a space on the side of this cactus. Well, this is just wrong now. Because I, I need to push the thing over, and that's just not going to happen. It seems like I've actually blocked off my entrance. No, I, I feel like I haven't. But if I do this, then I've definitely blocked off my space. Unless I go down. What if I go down again so I can set it up better? So what if I do this, but just giving myself a little bit better of a setup so i can get that out of the way and now freely make it over to this other cactus putting it into its uh little spot in the ground creating a garden and allowing us to go on to the next area a lot more puzzles up ahead and i am loving this game so far i am overjoyed by these puzzles mostly on the east side but very some some very clever tricks hidden inside of them so i'm excited to see how difficult and how crazy it can get I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Uh, peace.